You know, it's it's just good to be back. Uh, last game we played was December 16th, and it feels like an eternity ago. Our, our guys got back on December 27th, and we've really hit the ground running. Uh, I thought the guys came back with a whole bunch of different energy, uh, a lot of motivation. I think a lot of guys have come back a little hungry. Um, you know, it's definitely not the semester we wanted in the fall, but this this was a really, really good team win against an unbelievably great team coached by a phenomenal coach and Coach Carroll. Uh, but it's good to see the guys back. I, I told a bunch of coaches, you know, how to go, and I, I said it felt like the first day of school again just because the energy and, and the, the passion and how hard everybody's been going. Uh, it's, it's really good to be back, and it's definitely good to be back and win one more time before the, before the new year. Uh, yeah in front of a good home crowd with, with, with a good energy. Hey, stranger. Joe, how you doing? Uh, first question, Coach, for you. Uh, of course, coming back, trying to get your feedback on you before conference play gets started again. How important, how beneficial is it for the team to get in a really tough game, really close game right off the bat to get back into things? Well, when we made the schedule, I wanted to make sure that we got a team that was, you know, going to beat us. Uh, I didn't want to come in and play a team that, uh, or, you know, everybody at this level can, can beat everybody, but I definitely wanted to play a really, really well coached team uh, with really good players. You know, Josiah Johnson is, is an unbelievable player. He had 20 points tonight, but that co that team is, is a great coach, and I wanted us to come into a challenge because I didn't want, I wanted us to be ready to play St. Mary's, St. Ed's, and the rest of the Lone Star Conference schedule. So, Scheduling this game was the most important part, just so our guys can get back and ready to play true competition. Coach O, congrats on the victory. As for the overtime period, what did you learn about your team? They're tough. They're tough. You know, there was a lot of people playing a lot of different minutes and a lot of different roles. We've had to junk up our lineup uh, many different ways. But, you know, you see guys like the one on my left who, who's, not to say struggled in the fall, but wasn't getting the minutes and opportunities, but he showed back up. With, with a completely different mindset and earned the opportunity to start tonight. Uh, you know, and, and did a lot of great things with his 16 and seven, uh, had an assist, had a block, but overall just his, his work ethic and, and how hard he's been doing it every day earned him the spot to do it. And that's, that's what I learned about our team is that no matter the scenario, no matter the situation, we, we can push through it and find adversities. You know, we, we treat the, the, the philosophy as the golf ball you know, scenario that you get a lot of dance, you go through bruises, some, but the golf ball travels further. And tonight, we, we did a great job of that. Uh, Jason, question for you. Uh, coming back this semester, uh, this game would have been uh, season high in both points and rebounds. Obviously, just an ex exhibition, but still a uh, great performance for you. What was clicking for you tonight? Um, I feel like everything, you know, I, I really appreciate my teammates, you know, putting trust in me. And everything, uh, we came back with one goal, which was just just to win. You know, we came back ready to work, and we all put in that effort to be able to win the game. And as for this upcoming Thursday and Saturday, y'all have a tough game against St. Mary's and St. Edwards. What are you looking forward to the most, man? If in these next few practice days, we should see Coach Hawkins. You know, uh, the Lone Star is is a monster, uh, and these are rivalry games, so. That alone takes it to a different level. But Coach Meyer uh, in his first year and Coach Cook, you know, and however long he's been there, but we've had great rivalries between both. Uh, it's, it's games that we look forward to. It's games that we look uh, we're ready to play. But we have to take one at a time. We can't get to St. Ed's until we get to St. Mary's, um, just like them, vice versa. But I'm just more looking forward to coming back tomorrow, watching film, getting with the guys back in the gym and learning from our mistakes so we can keep pushing forward. You know, this this journey of basketball, a lot of times people think that it's just game by game, but it really is day by day to where you have to learn and adapt to new scenarios and new situations. And I, I just can't be more proud of this team. Regardless of the result of today, we grew from the day we got back from Christmas break. And I just look forward to keep developing every day with them. Coach, ending the year off on a victory, how, what does it say about kind of setting the year right, setting the semester right, heading into 2024? This is actually how it's sharing both of you guys. Go ahead. Say the question one more time. <laughs> <laughs> how does this essentially set the precedent going into 2024 for you guys? You know, nothing's changing. You know, we're going to come back tomorrow. We're going to keep working. Uh, St. Mary's is next on the schedule, and we 
looking for a win there, one game at a time. Yeah, same thing. Uh, I just think we have to make sure that we keep developing and growing um, each day, each process, of practice. Uh, but overall, I'm just I'm just happy with our guys for finishing off the year um, and and keep moving forward. Any other questions for Coach Jacobs? Thank you guys. Thank you guys.